Guys, it is me, Zayden, and welcome back to another video on the channel. And today, guys, we are going to be building Green's Hermitcraft Season 6 base, which is right on the doorstep of my little hobbit hole, which is hopefully going to be my home soon, but um, it looks like it's under construction a bit at the moment, and I'm going to be joined by Construction Bob. Hopefully, Bob, will you get my house set up for me thank you so while we're building green's hermitcraft season six base bit of a mouthful um bob is gonna be working on my hobbit hole so thank you bob um but anyway um i guess we should just get into it because um yeah why not and um i'm back with the series is and it's gonna be continued um until it's going to be continued again. So yeah, we, we should have this uh, from the last time we built this. So we want to get out our cyan terracotta and we're going to build the bit of the base that goes in one. And there's two blocks high of that. So yeah. So we're just going to want to build up one. Then we can break this. It doesn't really matter what we do with this because it's not going to be visible in the base. But um, So we're going to have to have two layers of cyan terracotta here half of the second layer is going to be covered with slabs so it's going to be like this but um but we'll do that later first let's just build the cyan terracotta and we literally just want to place the cyan terracotta all the way around the base like so with um just fill every space we've done it before in this one there and did we do it on the first is it here no it's just with ice yeah and wow, this is this is getting pretty tall. It takes me quite a while to get to the top. But um so yeah, we just want to go around placing this cyan terracotta and then because we need to make the base for the next layer, which is pretty small. Well, it's not too small, but I believe that this layer is the layer that his big storage shulker monster is on. And maybe this next layer is the garden? I'm not 100% sure. I haven't I haven't started building the interior on my test world, so I will have to check that. And I, I, there's a good chance I'll be wrong on this, but um, that's just what I thought. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's actually an empty layer, then it's the garden. So, yeah, we're actually getting pretty close to the top. We're definitely more than... I'd say we're definitely more than halfway through building this. Um outside actually we've mm, we've got the big ring to build around the base but either way we're making good progress that's the main thing and um we are doing this and this is quite a monotonous process so if you guys if you want me to leave you to do this yourself that's absolutely fine because you guys this is like the easiest thing ever to do you just go around you place cyan terracotta wherever it can go there's nothing that you to be honest, there's not really anywhere that you could really go wrong. So I'll just let you guys do that. And um, once you're finished, you should have something that looks a little like this. All right, that is looking pretty good. And I just realized clouds are on. I'm just going to very quickly turn them. That's much better. There we go. Um, I just wanted to make things a bit more clearer for you guys. And the clouds can sometimes get in the way. Um, but yeah, so now that you've got your two little... Two blocks of cyan terracotta that are one in. Yeah, just, I probably should have mentioned that earlier. But just make sure that they're one block in. And um, I haven't done cyan terracotta down here. I mean, you can. It's not going to do any damage if it makes it easier for you. But it might be a little more time consuming. And I can just see one block that I haven't placed here. But, um, yeah, so that looks good. That goes all the way around. So now we just need to do something that's also a bit repetitive. We just need to place some quartz slabs and just make sure the only thing you need to do is just make sure that they don't connect up like that so they only meet at diagonals like that so just go around play placing the slabs on the second part of the second block so there's one so you have one and a half blocks and then these two blocks you can walk evenly across without going up or down or anything so um let's continue placing these blocks there we go just place them all the way along here. To be honest, this won't take very long, so I might just keep this in the video. But um, just just as long as you keep going around, and you can 
skip forward a couple a minute or two if you want but um so yeah you just place it diagonals like this and the second block up easy enough to remember because quite a lot of this is very repetitive i'm pretty sure i've actually never had a video where i haven't done cut bits out because it's been repetitive because i've always just thought i don't want to bore you guys it's just um yeah but um in my last video I mentioned um, that I'm playing Terraria at the moment and I'm really enjoying it. So if any of you are interested in seeing a series that I can make out of that, then definitely let me know. That would be... Um, if you're not, then let me know as well. That's that. Just say I'm happy with you doing green space. That's absolutely fine. Um, I don't mind. I won't be offended. Uh, but yeah, this looks like this is done. And as you can see, it only meets at diagonals and as one and a half blocks here right that's looking very good and then on top of this we want to place a block of white concrete so everywhere with a slab you place a block of white concrete easy peasy lemon squeezy do that all the way around and you should have this all right that is that done and um, we're already making it look a bit better on top here so um all we need to do now is we just need to kind of continue making it into um i don't know what i'd call this shape a cake shape we'll call it um so yeah i think that's i think that's mainly what um it is really so right so now i'm sorry it's a little annoying because We've just kind of done this and I didn't mention it before, but you need to connect up these bits of white concrete. So just go like this, this, there we go, just like this. And then for these bits, you just, um, once you get to here, you just go white concrete, white concrete, white concrete, white concrete. So these bits, it should just be connected so it's like a zigzaggy shape, so it goes up then like that and like that. So it kind of has two each way, so, you, so there's two going this way and two going that way. So then you connect this and just go like this, and it should, for these bits, it should just go right on top of the cyan terracotta. Obviously for this bit, you have one block of cyan terracotta that's not covered, but that's just how it is. So yeah, you know kind of on the bits that have two, or if the bits that have two, you only cover one bit of cyan terracotta. You always cover one bit of cyan terracotta. That's basically how you remember it. So we connect these bits up. And I might as well just go through it. Because it's not like it's going to take very long. And also this bit might be considered a tiny bit more complicated. Than the other things we've done. So just go through. Just placing these bits. So we know what to do. And... Um, because we basically need to create um, bits going round and uh, to do that, to create like the cake shape. And to do that, we need to have these bits connecting along to each other. But um, yeah, I just continue going like this and nearly done now, I think. Uh, so... Um, yeah, oh well, I thought we were, thought we saw a quarter to go, but we're done. Uh, that was quick. So, um, so then we go up one, and we go like this. So we've got a bit of, so we've got one step up, and then we go around like this. Um, again, conjoining these two bits, so it's not just connected by diagonally, it's actually properly connected by a block. So, we just go around like this, you go like this, and I'll show you. For this bit, we will skip ahead once we get to this, and we just literally just mimic this. So, just make sure it goes in that zigzaggy pattern like we did before. Oh, oh yeah, because that's, that's the, t this is the two block, you see, so we... So there's going to be one exposed bit of cyan terracotta. So it's just like this. And um, just go around and then... There you go. You can just continue that and just make it look like this. 
with the, these bits going like this and just make sure they're all just connected by a block every block should be connected by another block there should be no bits there should be no bits that look like this to be honest just make sure it's connected so do that all the way around and then once you're done you should have something that looks like this all right that's that bit um we've done this and this next bit is where it might get a little bit more complicated because we I mean, it's not that complicated, to be honest. It's just a little bit confusing because we still got, I think we've got two more steps to still go up with this, with these blocks. So we go up another step um, and then we do the exact same thing as this layer. We just go around and we connect this bit of white concrete. Just And we just, we only leave one layer of block. We only leave one like kind of row of blocks like round like this. But in this layer, we're going to have to go two, so it gets a little bit confusing, like, kind of, you're a bit like, oh, what do you do here? Do you go like that? Oh, whoops, nope. Have we started the new layer? Oh, yeah, we have started the new layer. For a second, I was, like, worried that this was in the old layer. But, um, wow, that was confusing to say. But, um, so we just go around like this, and, um, connecting up all the blocks with one block rather than, uh, being connected diagonally again just like what we did with the previous layer and should get a big and it does look it's a little this layer does have a little bit of a weird circle but that's just how it is i mean obviously it's hard to make a perfect circle in a game made out of blocks and green did very well so gotta give it to him but either way so we just need to Go around here and place all these blocks and just complete that all the way around. Once you've done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Right, there we go. That is the second step completed. And this is looking pretty good at the moment. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. Right, anyway, moving on to the next bit. And I think, the, honestly, the easiest way to do this is going to be... We're going to do it in rectangles. So... This is one rectangle, for example. So this and this bit. And then to make the next rectangle, we're going to have to extend this rectangle. So the rectangles are basically going to overlap. It's going to be like this. So you're going to have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 2 rectangle here. And you're going to have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by 2 rectangle here. So this kind of area is one rectangle. And this area is one rectangle. Let's build it on the other side. We've got our rectangle here, and then we extend it by one. So it's almost like you were building another layer on top of this, but obviously it'd be a bit different because if there was another layer, then you know you'd make it like this instead. But yeah, so it's not quite the same. So don't try and do it that way. But um, yeah, this is the easiest way. So then for the next rectangle, you're gonna wanna extend this by. So this is a three by two rectangle. And you're going to want to do that again. So you've got another 3 by 2 rectangle. And then, oh, an extra block there anyway. So another 3 by 2 rectangle. And then a 2 by 2 rectangle. And then a 3 by 2 rectangle again. So you just kind of got this. Obviously, I'll pan around it at the end just so you can see in case I'm going a little too fast or something. So then... All you want to do for this bit is you just want to extend these diagonals by one so it kind of just goes like this instead so that bit's pretty easy so it's just three so there's three blocks this way and three blocks that way that that way you know you're doing the right thing and there we go we're already making pretty good progress on this and i know this bit's a bit hard but you're just gonna have to bear with me because it is hard to explain um so yeah then we want to go so we want to do this. So we've got another rectangle. And yeah, I think that's right. Wait, let me just check on this, this side. Yeah, that's correct. This bit should have three that way. And then you want to continue by doing these little rectangles. So it's the two by two rectangles. Oh, I think they're called squares. I can be such an idiot sometimes. Anyway, um, so we just want to go like this. So we've got a three by two rectangle. Then we want to create another three by two rectangle and another three by two rectangle. And then now we here we've got a five by two rectangle. 
Then we've got our seven by two rectangle, then our five by two rectangle. Does this kind of make sense? I mean, it's just the easiest way. It's basically just like as if we're doing another layer. Would it be the same if we're doing another layer and it just went, but it went without the bits, the blocks that joined them up? Let me see. No, it wouldn't quite be the same because there's obviously these bits and yeah. So this is probably the easiest way I can explain it. So yeah. And of course I'll go over it and all that stuff. But if you understand it completely, go ahead, that's fine. But just this bit's quite hard to explain. Right, so then we go one, two. We need to extend this by another block, if I can. I'm sure you were able to extend it. Yeah, there we go. And then we've got a three by two rectangle here. We want another three by two rectangle here. And the rectangles only go up into this edge bit, okay? So it goes back up to, and there's always a bit stick, but the rectangle always overlaps. There's no rectangles that don't overlap. So this goes, for example, this one, it goes one, two, and then because it overlaps, it would be three. So a piece of two is um, a rectangle of three, if that makes sense. So these bits, these two bits make a rectangle of three. Then we need to do this and make a rectangle of two with this, then a rectangle of three with the two piece. Two, when I say two pieces, I'm just talking about this. And when I say one piece, I'm talking about this. I'm not talking about suits. <laughs> um, but uh, So then we want to extend these bits so we can make squares. Not rectangles, squares, because that's what squares are. Um, so little squares here. And then basically, oh, we want to, we not want to continue with that. We want to go like this. Wait. Um... So, oh yeah, we just need to extend that to there. So it's uh, overlaps and then we got another bit. So it's square. Then we've got a rectangle like this, three by two rectangle. Then we got overlapping rectangle. So it goes three. You always go one, two, and then you go one past the edge of it. So wait, uh, nope, that's wrong. <laughs> Uh, so you just go, you go up to this block because it's already kind of overlapping. You just mimic it. So you go up to there. So you've got a rectangle of five here. And then see, so you just mimic it like this. You mim So it's it's pretty, pretty easy once you get the hang of it. It's just hard to explain at first, if you know what I mean. So uh, should I go all the way around or should I just leave you to do it? I don't really know. I'll maybe do a little bit more and then I can leave you to do it if I would decide to. So we just need to go like this, so it overlaps there. And we've got our little three by two rectangle. We go like this, and then we want to extend it one more. So we've got a three by two rectangle. Extend it, so we've got a two by two square. Get our squares. So yeah, this is the bit where we just want to extend these bits. And then we can get our rectangles again, three by two rectangle. 2 by 2 square, sorry, 2 by 2 square there. And then this we want to extend here. And then, because these bits are already, the bits are already extended. So, for example, see this bit is would make a 3 by 3 rectangle. Th sorry, 3 by 2 rectangle, because it's already got three pieces if we remove this block. So that's how you know how many, how you know how to make the rectangle. So, um... So we want to overlap it by one, overlap it by one, overlap it by one, overlap it by one. Does that work? Yeah, that works. I'll just do it that way, overlap it by one. I think that works anyway. <laughs> yep, overlap it by one. And then we just go like this. La, 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 la. How, how far do we have to go? Oh, this is us done here. So we just go, for example, here we go, go to three by two rectangle. Um, three by two rectangle, three by two rectangle, and then bish bash bosh, that's us done. Right, that bit was a little bit painful to sit through, but it's just what we've got to do sometimes in this build. Um, so we will just, I think we'll finish off the roof for this, and then that'll lead us on to the next episode where we can start building the glass. So all we want to do now, it's a little bit of break from the complications of that layer. We just want to go up one more step and mimic this layer. So 
go one back and one up. And this should be five if you've done everything right. So let's just go right around and place these blocks one back from everything else. This video might end up being a bit longer than usual, but I just wanted to make sure we've got the roof done. And I have no idea how this video got to be so long, to be honest. It's not like we'd be doing a huge amount of work, but sometimes it's just harder to do the tiny things and it takes a while to get them finished. But that's just what we're going to have to do if we're going to build this base. And I am not building this bit well, am I? So yeah, just build this bit all the way around. Just connect it up by each block, not diagonally. And once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Alrighty, that is looking pretty good. So we've got this going all the way around. And I'll just um, kind of go around the build so you can see the bit we've just done. So the, the bit we did before, just to make sure, just so you guys can make sure you got it right. So one, two blocks there, three blocks there. I'll just kind of skim around slowly so you can pause the video and look if there's anything you're not quite sure of and you should be able to tell how many blocks um there are so uh because i'll run my cursor over the blocks so um yeah there we go and we've literally just got a tiny bit more to do before we finish the video um it's literally because we've done all the steps we need all we need to do now is literally just fill all this in and because this is going to be the roof and we're going to need to build this so we can build um the base of the, so we can build the base in the next layer um so yeah just go completely across building all of this and once you're done you should have this all right that is um that complete and um we've completely topped off this section which is good so we're ready to start work on the next layer and wow this looks very white and it's actually not as dark in here as i thought it might be i mean it's quite dark but there's a lot of windows so it's not too bad so yeah i think that's gonna finish us up for the day and i'm just gonna finish off this episode quite quickly because we've already spent quite a lot of time on this so um yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching it really means a lot and if you're new here definitely like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and yeah guys i will see you guys later bye